What's going on guys, Fossil Base 6 here, back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing my Survivor Series War Games predictions. Yeah, I just got done reviewing Smackdown, I had to wait for that video to upload, and now time to do my War Games predictions, and there's only five matches, I don't think this is going to take very long, so who do you guys think is going to win? Let me down in the comment section below, let's jump right into what I think might start the show, is the Women's War Games match. Uh, Team Bianca, which consists of Bianca Belair, Alexa, um, Asuka, um, Mia Yim, and the returning Becky Lynch, versus Team da Team Bailey, which is Bailey, Dakota, uh, Nikki, Rhea, and Io. Yeah, um, what I think might happen is that Bliss might turn heel and go back to the dark side. And unfortunately, ruined Bray's momentum when he returned. Yeah, I said that, and I don't really care. Um, this should be a really good match. The problem is, I have it go at least twenty minutes, and I think that Team Bailey is going to win. And if Team Bailey does win, I would like to see a few between Bianca and Rhea, in all honesty. But that's he neither here or there, so I'm going with Team Bailey. And then next up, we have the triple threat for the U.S. title, which is Bobby Lashley versus Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins, Seth Franklin Rollins, Seth Pheasant Rollins, whatever you want to call him for a U.S. title. I'm going to have Rollins win here. Unless they have Ali thrown into the mix and make it a four-way, oh my. I'm going to have Rollins win here. And I... Because I have a suspicion in the back of my mind that I think Brock is going to show up. And Brock is going to probably take out Lashley. And maybe if Lashley takes a pin, you could still make him look strong. But at the same time, Fury just turned heel and they're starting to push him. And you don't want to have Rollins lose. So they kind of just booked themselves into a corner. So I think Brock might show up and attack Lashley for what Lashley did to him at Crown Jewel. And you, maybe Lashley might take a pin because Lashley taking a pin won't be the worst thing in the world, even though, yeah, he lost the U.S. title and he just lost to Brock. You could still make him look like an unstoppable monster. So I think Rollins is going to win, but I think Lashley might take the pin. But I think Lashley um, is going to get attacked by Brock, and I think that Rollins is going to retain. But if Theory wins, then who cares in all honesty, so... I think Rollins might win, but I have a feeling that Brock is going to play a key factor into the match. So then we have the uh, SmackDown Women's match, which is uh, Shotzi versus Ronda for SmackDown Women's title. Ronda's winning. Make it at least competitive. If Shotzi can get some ounce of care or interest or personality out of Ronda, then that's automatically a win in my book. But yeah, Ronda is winning. Um, they may be going for Ronda and Baszler feud, which... On paper sounds good, but in all honesty, I don't know if anyone will really care, which sucks. I like I like Baszler. Rhonda seems like she doesn't care. And they've been kind of beating Baszler into powder to a point we don't really care about her, so sorry, that's how I see it. And then we get AJ versus Balor. I think AJ's gonna win. The this judgment day thing has gone for way too long. It needs to end at some point. The end game is going to be Dominic versus Ray. Good. That's what I want to see. No, we don't. So, yeah, I think AJ is going to win. And then we get to the main event, which is the men's war games. It's the Brawling Brutes, Sheamus, Ridge, and Dunn, Drew, and KO against Team Bloodline, which is Reigns, Uso, Solo, and, J and uh, Sammy. I have a feeling this thing's going to go 40 minutes. And I don't want to be right, but I feel like I am. Um... Don't have this thing go more than 30 minutes. If it reaches 30 minutes, okay. If you want to draw out a story, then okay, I'm fine with that. But don't make this thing stretch out so long. That's why I've been criticizing about the recent war games. I criticized Blood and Guts. That thing nearly went for one pissing hour, for God's sake. So, I have a feeling this thing's going to go 40 minutes because this is probably going to be a three-hour pay-per-view. Which they can do a two-and-a-half-hour pay-per-view, which I don't know if that's going to happen, but that will be pretty interesting. So, since the Brutes are going to get 
won the advantage. I think they're going to win. I think Sammy is going to take the pin. I think KO is going to pin Sammy. And that can get you more sympathy for Sammy. And then the bloodline is going to turn on Sammy. That's going to lead to KO and Sammy. Win the tag titles eventually. And there you go. Everyone's going to go home. Caking, cake a coffee for everyone. So that's what I think is going to win. I'm most likely going to be wrong on a couple. Well, maybe except for maybe Ronda and Shotzi. Because that's predictable as hell. So anyways, those are my predictions. What do you guys think is going to happen at Survivor Series War Games? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Tap the bell for more notifications. Join the heart. Talk to the next video. Peace out.